What is mommy? So cute. Mm -hmm. We let it focus. Okay, now tell me. I can't see you. What's mommy? Come on, stop. What's mommy? Can you tell them? Say, what is mommy? Cute. Cute. So pretty. You're so pretty? Yeah. Hi, guys. Good morning. How about that? Let's try to be like, you know, let's try to be more happy, Jennifer. I know you're both broke. We have to fix it. Put it back in there. Um, it is Thursday, November 16th, I think. And we are off to the store. Forgot milk yesterday at the store and now I need it. Um, yesterday I went to, sorry, yesterday I went to the Rachel Ray show again. That's my eighth time going over the years, but, um, I didn't vlog it. There was no point because you guys see me go to last time and it's the same stuff. Um, I do get disappointed though because every time I go, she doesn't, like, I don't get lucky and get the it's show so of... Okay, I don't get the show of gifts. Uh, I did get a ninja blender for her Halloween show one year, but ever since then, we don't get anything but her magazine. So, I mean, I don't care because I love her still, but, you know, bless you. But it would be cool to get something, you know. But, yeah, so I went there. It was fun, but I wanted to tell you guys that I am applying for a job. Um, my hours are weird with Kelvin working, you know, and me having Geo and no babysitter, but there's a party store in my town, um, that's like privately owned and they're hiring, look at this hair, what the hell, they're hiring from six to nine at night, so it's three hours a night, which is perfect, and by the way, I have the worst earache, ear infection, it's killing me, um, but anyway, so it's a party, party store and... They're hiring from 6 to 9 at night and then the weekends. I'm not sure the pay, but I'm going to go apply because, one, we need more money. More money is always good. And, two, I need to get the hell out of this house. I'm in this house all day, every day. I do go to the store here and there, but still. You know, we're always on a budget. You know, we always got to... Which, if I get this job, we'll still be on a budget, but... Um, we'll have more money and then we could put more money into the bank to save for when we do move next year. So fingers crossed guys, fingers Hi crossed guys. that Hi I get this job Hi and guys. the pay is decent. You know, it's a party store, so I'm not expecting to become a millionaire. You want to say hi? Yeah. So fingers crossed guys that I get this job. I'm going tonight to apply. So when I apply, I'm going to tell you guys and then I'll keep you updated on if I get it or not. So, fingers crossed, please. Because mommy wants a job, right? Does mommy want a job? I buy that, mommy. You want me to get a job so I could buy you prizes? No, it doesn't top. Huh? Uh -uh, this. Okay. So, yeah. So, I'm going there tonight and that's it. Um, we're putting up our tree this weekend. So, I'll show you guys that too. Um, but that's it. Trying to lose some weight. I haven't weighed myself. Um... I didn't really eat today at all because yesterday I had Panera bread after Rachel Ray and it made me sick to my stomach and I don't know why because I love Panera bread but okay so now I'm just rambling on we're gonna go got really dark in here because the shade um we're gonna go to Dinosaur Bowl Store aka Walmart aka Walmart Oh, sorry, dinosaur bowl store. Yeah. We're going to a different one today. And yeah, so that's it. I'm making just some honey garlic chicken thighs tonight for dinner. Um, and that's it. So we'll see you guys later. Hi guys. Bye bye guys. Bye guys. Bye guys. Say bye. Say say. Are you kidding me? If I say. Hi guys. Um, I just wanted to update you guys on, um, my job hunting that I was doing. I'll turn my radio off. Um, hold on, I'm trying to make Geo soup, and it never fails. I always overflow it. Um, so I went last night to the party store I was telling you guys about to fill out an application for their immediate job openings. Immediate. Okay, so I go there. I ask the girl 
for, you know, that I told her I was here for the, uh, for the cashier position that they had, and she's like, um, okay, applications are in the back of aisle 10. Like, and she had to be the manager because she had a different outfit on everyone else. So I'm like, oh, okay, like, thanks. Um, so I go in the back, I fill it out, um, and then I hand it to a lady that's standing behind the counter back there taking, like, orders for, like, um, balloons and stuff, and I give it to her. No, I said, who do I give this to? And she says, oh, I take them. So I give them to her, and she just puts them to the side, like, on top of the counter. So, one, it wasn't the manager that I gave it to. Two, my application is just sitting on top of the counter now. Which I don't like because all my information is on there. And three, if you're hiring for immediate positions, someone should be available to look over your application right after you sign it. I'm not saying interview me on the spot, but someone should be there to look over it to schedule, like, for you to come back in for an interview. Like, I just didn't get it, but I don't know. I didn't get a good vibe from there. I mean, if they call me great, I'll still be happy. But the people weren't, like, I worked in retail forever. And, like, the one rule that we always had to follow was if someone asks you for something, you don't point or tell them where it is. You take them to where it is. And she didn't do that. She was like, oh, back of aisle 10. Like, okay, bitch. But, yeah, so I didn't get a good feeling. And when, when we were leaving, she didn't even say, like, bye, have a good day, or... We'll, keep, we'll get in touch with you or nothing. Nothing was said. So, that's whatever, you know? If, you, if, you, if you're looking for immediate positions, as their ad said, then you have immediate response to me filling out an application, but whatever, I could just be being picky, but that's just what I think. Um, so today I went to a new, um, like, fruit market slash store that's opening up by these new condominiums that they built in my town. It's like underneath, it's like a whole complex of condos that they built and in that complex is like Duncan and a wine store and now they're opening something called Market Fresh. And it's like a upscale fruit market, I guess. So, um, so I went there because my cousin's boyfriend already works there. They're not open yet. They're like stocking the shelves. So I went there today and that went pretty well. He gave me the application to take home and said come back tomorrow morning with your resume and we'll talk. Now that's how you're supposed to do it. Because I hate going to a job to try to get a job and they're like, oh, thank you for filling it out, we'll call you. It's like, no. So he said, come back tomorrow morning with your resume and we'll talk. So that went good. I and, I, and I went with Gio, cause I had no choice and he loved him. But listen, I'm determined to find a job. I need some type of part-time job. A, I need to get out of the house. B, we need some extra money, desperately. C, I need to take off some stress of Kelvin having to stress all the time about making sure he's working enough and we have enough. Like, he stresses out about that. So, and plus I want to work again. Even if it's just in a little fruit market, I don't care. I'm not ashamed to work in those places. I'm a mother. I'm trying to do what's right. Yeah, I'm making you soup. Yeah. Yes, you do. Um, so yeah, so that's the update. So I'm hoping I get this market fresh job. I go tomorrow morning, which is Saturday. I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go in there. Like, you're gonna give me this job? I am job. Do you know where that's from? I'll give you a few minutes, seconds. It's from a stout fire. <laughs> when she's trying to get the job, hey, when he's trying to get the job, and he calls up, he's like, I am job. Okay, now I'm just talking to myself because you guys are the only ones I talk to. But yeah, so it's freezing as hell outside today. That wind is no joke. It took my breath away. Oh, I'm bend down. I'm always up and down, up and down I'm on the phone. But yeah, oh, and today at five. Okay, so I was gonna put my tree up this weekend and I changed my mind because uh, Kelvin has to work and all my, um, Christmas decorations are by my mom's house and for me to have to go and get them and then come back and 
put them up while well, Geo's it's just too much. So he's off next weekend, so we're gonna do it then. So, which is fine. But today at five o'clock, if you're in this area of New Jersey, 106.7 flips the switch to Christmas music all day, or day. So I can't wait for that. So at five, I'm 106.7, Christmas. Finally, and maybe I'll start feeling like I'm in the holiday spirit because I don't feel Christmas this year at all. And that's not good. So yeah, so, oh, and my tire, it keeps going flat. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but every, since yesterday, Kelvin woke up, it was flat. He went and filled it. I got back in the car hours later, it was flat. My uncle filled it. And then Kelvin took it to the mechanic last night. And the mechanic told him there's nothing wrong with it. There's no leak or nothing. I get in the car this morning, it's flat. So now we have to keep filling it until we can get back to the mechanic, which sucks. Because that means probably every morning I'm going to have to go and fill it. But it, that, it wouldn't be my life. It wouldn't be Jennifer's life. Hold on, guys. I got to bend down and get this. Hold on. Oh, can you see me? I'm here. I'm here. Don't worry. My... So yeah, that's it guys. It's already two o'clock. I have to get my sister in a half hour. Time flies by every single day. So we're gonna eat some soup and I will probably talk to you guys after tomorrow. I'm not sure about tonight. So I will probably, tonight for dinner is just breakfast for dinner. Which I love. And I love that Kelvin loves that too. You know? So. That's that. And I'm gonna feed Gio some lunch. Make myself some lunch. And. I'll tell you guys how my interview is tomorrow. Let's cross some fingers that I get it. Please. Even though by the time you see this. I will know if I got it already. So. Hopefully the next time I pick up this camera. I'm telling you guys that I got the job. So, wish me luck. Say morning, guys. They can't see you. Turn around. Say morning, guys. Watch a Moana. Say morning. The Maui show. Oh, the Maui show? Yeah. Ah. Morning, guys. It is Monday. And the last time I talked to you guys, I told you I was going for a job. Um, pretty sure I told you about the party store. Um, so then I told you I was going to like a market fresh supermarket kind of job. Well, I was supposed to go back the next morning to give him my resume, but it was a very, very, very bad morning with, um, and I didn't make it on time in the morning. So it was actually a really hard day for me. I was crying and stuff just because, you know, oh, it's open stressful. Me, open me, open okay, one second, I will. Um, so, oh, one second. Ah. So, um, I didn't, when, by the time I got there, he was already gone. And that was Saturday morning. So then I went back yesterday morning and he wasn't there again. So I'm going to try for the third time, right? Third, how does it go? Third try. Is it a charm? What? How's it go? I don't know. But you know what I mean? The third Time is supposed to be, you know. How does it go? Tell me how it goes, please. I don't remember how it goes. Three. Third time's a charm. How's it go? I don't Whatever, whatever. I'm going for the third time. We're going right now. I hope the guy's there. I hope he's not pissed that I didn't make it there Saturday morning. Um, because I was unsure if I should get a job or not. Because, you know. It's going to be hard with Kelvin's schedule oh and stuff, God. but we need the extra money. So, I'm going to do what I have to do. Kelvin's going to do what he has to do so that I could work because it's good for money. It's good for our stress when it comes to money, and it's good for me to get out of the house. And it's good for Gio to just have time with his daddy. So, that's where we are going, and then we are going to Walmart to finish up getting the things that we need for Thanksgiving. And I'm not going near that store until Black Friday night. So, well, Black Thursday night. Um, so yeah, my hair is falling out of my ponytail, um, but that is it. I will show you guys, I'll try to like show you guys the outside of the store. 
because it's in like a nice condominium setting kind of thing. You took your hat off. You see, he wants my attention and he becomes such a little brat the second I either pick up the phone, sit down, start getting ready, pick up the camera. Two year olds, but you're gonna be three so soon. 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 Who's gonna be three? You are? And what's your name? Dio. Dio. And you're gonna be three. You're gonna be three. You're gonna be three. Dance. You're gonna be three. Oh, you're two? You are two years old. Dance. You are two years old. Dance. You are two years old. Go, Dio, go. Okay, go. Dance, 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 dance. Go, Dio, go. Look at my way. You love that song? Okay, dance. Crap. Crap. Dance, dance, dance. All right. Jump, jump. So where are we going? Yeah, say bye. Bye, Buster. Let's go. Hope the camera doesn't fall. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. You do? I'm trying to hold the camera as I'm driving. Huh? Gotta put Christmas music on. Finally, Christmas night. How I hate going out in the storm. But if you really hold me tight. This kind of old fashioned Christmas music, like oldies, remind me of my Nana. She always liked to hum. Just when she didn't know a part of us, she would sing the song, and then when she didn't know a part of the song, she would just hum it. It was so cute. I miss that lady. I miss that lady. It's so sad because I feel like we were gypped on fall this year because all the trees that I'm driving right now are just bare. Like, I didn't see them turn any colors this year. Like, very light. Like, they were very, like, little bit of colors that we've seen. But now they're all bare. Because the best part of fall is seeing all the colors and we didn't see them this year! Right? We didn't see any of the colors on the trees. That's such poop. Come, mommy. Say it loud. Say poo. All the colors. All the colors? Yeah. You see them? Yeah. Oh, okay. All the colors. Yeah. All purple. Purple? Yeah. Oh, the leaves turn purple. Yeah. Oh, that's different. Where'd you see a purple tree? Over there. Where? Over there. Oh, over there. Yeah, so pretty. They're so pretty. Aww. Is mommy so pretty or so cute? I'm so cute. I'm supposed to be so pretty. I'm so oh, I think. When he calls me pretty, it just melts my heart. Do you melt my heart? Oh my God! Last night it was it snowed here a little bit for like five seconds, but it snowed. We actually can't wait for some snow. I have to get Gio some snow boots. We usually get him like a really good pair, but there's no need because we don't get snow like that. So we're just gonna get him some decent snow boots this year, right? Yep, the dinosaur store. The dinosaur ball store, AKA Walmart. AKA crazy ass store. Shop right? No. For the dinosaur? Yes. We have to get all this stuff for Thanksgiving. Can you come? Huh? Can you come? Yeah, you're coming. Who, who else is gonna watch you? Um, you're with mommy all the time, all the day. My watch me. Yeah, watch you. Oh, we're right next to Dunkin' Donuts. Uh. First, mommy has to try to get a job because you're expensive and I need some money, honey. Hi, guys. So, we are back from. Um, oh, I'm so thirsty. By the way, this is the mug I got from Dollar Tree that I put on my haul. 
I love it. All right, so my camera died when I got to the job that I went to go for today. And I swear I was not leaving there. My tripod is, well, whatever this is. Um, I was not leaving there today until I handed in that paper. I tried two other times, Saturday and Sunday. So when I went back today, I was knocking on the door and knocking. I saw a guy standing there, but I guess he couldn't hear me. So I let myself in. I saw like, it's like the automatic doors that go this way, but it, they were, I guess, turned off. So I like pushed it to see if it would open and it opened. And I went in there and I was like, excuse me. I like was yelling for somebody to come, but so they brought me over to the uh, owner because it's like a little, I don't know if it's independently owned. I'm not sure. Um, but they brought me over to him and he remembered me and you know, he, he knows I'm available at night and then I have Geo because Geo came with me two times and he says he's going to call me because he sees great things. So I think I got it and I'm super excited. So. I hope I got it. I don't know when he's gonna call me because they're still installing the store. It's not open. So, I'm not sure when I'll hear from him. So if, if a week goes by and I don't hear from him, I'm not gonna really worry because, you know, they are still putting it together. And it was all men, so, and plus it's daytime and I can't help anyway. But he said, he knows he knows that I want it because I went there twice with, with Geo and it's like, you know, like, I have no choice but to take him with me, and I really want the job. So, fingers crossed, guys, fingers crossed that I get this job. I will be so happy, because staying home, you know, I I love I love that I was able to stay home with Geo for as long as I have been, and I still am, you know. Of course, I'm, gonna, I'm staying home with him until he starts preschool and we move, but... You know, at night, it's good for me to get out of the house. And it's good, like I said, it's good for Gio and Kelvin to just be together alone. Because, of course, when I'm around, Gio only wants me or he's extra dramatic. And when he's just with Kelvin, he's really good. So, it's good for everybody. Um, so, I hope I get it. Because I sometimes don't feel like a normal person being home all the time. And sometimes... Like in the winter especially, we're in the house a lot because it's either it gets too cold or it snowed and so I hope I get this job. I hope I get this job. I really want it guys. I want this job. Um but yeah, it's almost two thirty. I gotta go pick up my sister. And then for dinner is just some drumsticks. Calvin's actually cooking. Cause he has to learn how to cook if I get this job. Um so he wants to make some drumsticks and that's that um i think we're gonna prep for black friday i think i said that I said that already huh say your dad already what the fuck hey what do you want me to do play, play bubbles with you you got no pants on i can't see you there you are where did we go today were you so good no oh guys let me show you my wreath i made this all came from the dollar tree I forgot to put the picture in my haul, but this is what I made, and I'm pretty proud of myself. I was home alone when I made this, and when I was done with it, I was actually talking to myself. I was like, holy shit, Jen. Mommy, you did mommy, a good job on that. Mommy, yeah. go cook again and make my neck. I did make it, right? It's so pretty. <gasps> Thank you. It's so cool. It's so cool? Yeah. Thanks. It's so pretty. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, I love you. Dramatic. So yeah, so everything came from Dollar Tree, the mesh. Um, these came from a different dollar store in my area, not Dollar Tree. Um, I actually have to go buy more. And this came from the Dollar Tree. This is this was broken. I glued this um, cotton on to fix his beard. But yeah, guys, that's it. And then my other one is going to be a snowman for my mom. So we should see how that one comes out. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, that's it. It's awesome, guys, right? I did a pretty good job. Everyone tells me that I should sell these, but Dollar Tree don't stock up on the mesh like they should in order for me to make them. It's empty. 
But yeah, so that's that. And we're going to go get Auntie from school, right? And Gia wants to blow some bubbles now. So say bye, guys. Bye, Gia.